Hey guys, what we have here is my factory crank pulley. This heavy, heavy thing. And what we want to talk about is timing. No, not ignition timing per se, not cam timing, but the timing required to let the coils know when to fire. Now, what the hell does this thing have to do with the other? Well, we need something to trigger the, the EDIS system. And that's where this comes into play. This is a the idea of a trigger wheel. It's got a 36 minus 1. So it's basically a 35 count. But they call it a 36 minus 1 because the blank one still counts. We'll talk about that in a minute. So you got your trigger wheel. You gotta mount it somehow onto the crank pulley. Now, if you got the T3 one, you can mount it to the back of the T3 pulley. If you have your factory pulley, what you do is you make a, a block that fits inside here, and then you just mount this on the outside. And now we gotta set this up. So here, let's do it like this. We have, I set this up with, so we got straight up and down and then you got top dead center there's where the mark would be on the pulley in relation to the zero mark on the on the timing cover so for a four cylinder it's every nine one two three four five six seven eight nine every nine so every ninety degrees so you have your VR sensor. Every time this rotates after the missing point, because that's the point in which the VR sensor and the EDIS module knows oh, it's time to fire cylinder one and cylinder four. And then we go again. Up, oh, it's time to fire cylinder two and three go again and it just keeps doing it and doing it and doing it now what's great about this is that this can be mounted in any which way you wish in relation to this so what I did was here's top dead center this was actually fully straight down this was coming off here and I had the VR sensor put right on the right side of the block. If your face if the block is facing towards you where that bracket used to go that I removed. If you still have your alternator, what you can do is this. Turn this upside down like this. And then you can mount your VR sensor over here on the other side let's say you deleted your power steering pump well you have an open spot over there so you can go down there or you can turn it like this and then mount it via the oil pan you know it's like any anything is possible that's the great thing with EDIS is that the trigger wheel the the relation of the trigger wheel to the crank pulley it's actually endless you can turn this trigger wheel any way you wish as long as the crank pulley is set to top dead center so anything here goes as long as your VR sensor is nine teeth after the missing tooth following the rotation of the engine so your engine will be your your time your timing gear will be rotating like this. No, this way, this way. Yeah, we've gotten that taken care of. So we have it set up. I have it set up on my car like this. And here's a picture of it actually sitting there on the car.
Now we got this little item here, which is a representation of the VR since the variable where it's basically a magnet. It's a magnet with two wires coming off it. All you gotta do is figure out polarity on the magnet and then when the system knows when the blank comes around, it'll know when to trigger the igniters in the EDIS to the coils. You gotta wire it as well. Now the wiring you actually have to get for the VR sensor is particularly special. You have to get shielded wire. This is an example of shielded wire. This is the exact same wire I used in my install. It has a nice coating on it, but then if you take the coating off, you have a foil shield. The foil is there to take care of you know, radio interference, just basic interference altogether. So if we take that, see it's just a foil. And then we got two wires. So these two here would go to there. And then this other end would go right into the EDIS module. So that's how the, I would say this this little setup I just explained is the most important thing of the whole system. If you don't get this working, it will not work. Most, most of the mistakes that happen is polarity on the VR sensor. You get polarity wrong, it's not going to start. You just switch your wires around, it's no big deal. And also, you have to get these rather. But we'll talk about the next thing after a little while. If this video has triggered you to like and comment, thank you very much. If you subscribe because of this video, thank you very much. This is 84Hachi signing off.